hello guys and welcome back to my channel today we are going to talk about moon cactus in this video I will explain everything you need to know which includes basic information about moon cactus light soil water requirements and more so please watch the whole video in, or in order to learn basic things about uh, moon cactus So now let's talk about moon cactus. Moon cactus is native to desert habitats in various parts of South America. Uh, this plant is something of a mutant and, lack, and lacks the ability to produce chlorophyll, which, mean, which means it must be grafted uh, onto a, a rootstock with that ability. The lower green host the green host can be any species but it's usually hylocereus cactus a moon cactus plant come in different colors like pink orange and yellow and it's called cyan okay and this one is something like more red but it's okay uh, when cyan is grafted on a green cactus, it's called a moon cactus. Okay, this is cyan, this is a root stick. So when this is cyan attached to this one, this is called a moon uh, cactus. The main job of the, of the lower cactus is to display the cyan at an advantageous height. These plants rarely rarely last more than a few years since the upper cyan and the lower root stick grow at the different rates which eventually destroys the graft union between the two sections however it's not difficult to separate the cyan and the graft it onto a new root stick cactus the best season for planting uh, are spring or summer when the uh, faster grow, growth is favored. Light. Moon cactus will do best in an area that received bright indirect light but no more than an hour or of two or two of a direct uh, morning sunlight. Too much direct sun will cause the colors to wash out when it comes to soil a rich fast draining cactus mix with a low pH is ideal make sure the soil meets the needs of the host cactus on the bottom Allow the soil mix to become nearly dry between uh, waterings. You can touch the soil and feel if it is dry, then you can water it. I'm going to just show you okay, the roots. So, good drainage is essential since leaving the plant sitting in the water can lead can lead to a root rot during the summer months the plants might need frequent watering especially if it has been moved outside plants in a small pots will only need weekly watering watering in the winter months is unnecessary maybe once a month The ideal condition for the rootstock and the upper cyan may not be the same. During the winter, the recommended temperature range is between 10 and 50, 15 degrees Celsius. Like most cactuses, this plant prefers low humidity levels.
These plants are slow growing, but they should be reported every three to four years to rejuvenate the plant with a fresh soil. Repotting should preferably be one during the warm growing season to repot a cactus. Make sure the soil is dry before repotting and then gently remove the pot. Place the, the plant in its new pot and fill with cactus mix potting soil, spreading the roots out as you repot. Leave the plant uh, dry for a week or so to reduce the risk of root rot and then begin to water lightly. Now, the common problems with the moon cactus. The moon cactus is tough, easy to grow plant, but there are a few issues to watch out for. The color is faded. If the color for red, yellow or orange top portion fades, okay, the cyan, if it fades, it's usually because the moon cactus is getting too much direct sunlight, which is causing the pigmentation to wash out move the plant to a location that gets bright and in direct light second thing is when plant begins to collapse uh, over watering can cause root rot to set in which gradually cause the lower host cactus to collapse upper if the upper bowl is detaching uh, because the two cactus species grow in uh, different rates it's not uncommon for the graft to separate after a few years at this point the best strategy is to separate the top portion and graft it onto another root stock cactus and uh, the last one edges of the colorful cyan turn brown when the colorful top portion begins to turn brown around the edges, uh, there are two possible causes. The plant is getting too much water or it's getting too much uh, sun. I hope you like the video. Please uh, subscribe and see you in next video.